All right, guys, welcome to another beer review. Gonna be a little bit quiet because it's a little bit late on a school night, although I'm off tomorrow. So I thought I would uh, treat myself to a beer that I've had in the fridge for a little while now, just because I didn't want to just crack it open because uh, you can see it there and you saw the thumbnail and the title anyway, so you know what it is. So today we're going over to the wonderful track out of Manchester and this is a collaboration that they did with Soma who I believe are out of Spain I'm probably completely incorrect with that one so links down below to uh, both the breweries and this is part of the Digital Age uh, virtual collaboration series keeping us connected through beer and this is a can of the long way short step quad IPA, which is brewed with Citra BBC, Galaxy, Mosaic, Cryo and Strata, so Mosaic Cryo, and it's at the, the sessionable strength of 13% ABV. Now, I can't say I've ever had a quadruple IPA. I've had like insane sort of like brew dog, like ice distilled IPAs before, which wasn't the best of ideas when you've been having a session all day and then you've been drinking like CBS and all these big, beautiful, wonderful beers. But uh, I'm a big fan of triple IPAs, so I'm interested, very much interested to see what this is like. Heard very good things about this one. And this can was kindly uh, given to me by the wonderful Adam from Mersey Beers, links down below. I want to try and keep this review a bit shorter as well because um, for a beer like this, I've been stupid and uh, decided to upload in 4K in 60 frames. So it's gonna be pointless because the lighting is shoddy in here. You need natural light and all like a good artificial light source. Um, but do you know what? It's a big beer. It's something a little bit special. So I thought, why not? A beer in the glass then and that is pouring as bold as you would expect so we'll put that there you can smell it from here but yeah that is turbid as hell it's got that sort of like peach compote look to it lights caught it nicely on camera it looks a bit more bolder but to me it's more like sort of muted like turbid yellowy orange with uh just shy of a thing's worth of a slightly yellow tinged head it's so looking really nice so far. So let's see what we get on the nose. Do you know what? For an IPA of that strength, alcohol is just so muted. Oh, lovely pineapple, peach, orange, blood orange, melon, tinned pineapple. A bit of like a candied fruit sort of flavour as well. Like a candied orange segment or something like that. Mandarin segments, I should say. What are those little... Not clementines. Or are they clementines? I do like clementine juice. <sighs> Lovely sweet tropical aromas. With a dusting of citrusy goodness. <sighs> that smells good. <sighs> really, really nice. So without any further ado, let's tuck into this. Cheers, folks, and cheers, Adam. Some of the beers that he has given me recently has just been incredible. Cheers, all. Aside from a slight aftertaste, where the heck is that ABV? Starting to get a little bit of that warmth in the sort of like here in the pit of my stomach. Okay, you definitely get an aftertaste of that ABV, but it's not harsh. I've had like double IPAs that I've had a much more pronounced alcoholic, sort of slightly ethanol character to it. I will say though, it gives it an ever so slightly sort of like artificial metallic y <coughs> bitterness. And a little hint of like a green harshness there. 
but I'm using those words. It's ridiculous how gentle and smooth this beer is. A little bit more carbonated than I was expecting. But it still has that slight velvety, like, creaminess to it. I've had bolder bodies from lower ABV IPAs. Well, more like double, triple IPAs. But I'll tell you what. This could get you into so much trouble. Soft, fruity sweetness. That's sort of like those fruit sugars you get that aren't like that artificial, you know, like sweetener or like even like a, you know, when you get like a, a spoonful of sugar. That's a different sweetness to like, let's say, the sugars that come out of a fruit. Do you know what I mean? It's not a bright in your face sweetness. It's really quite balanced. Lovely sort of like bitterness of grapefruit there with the sweet citrusy flavours of blood orange. There's a very subtle dank edge to it. Definitely get that oniony, garlicky sort of flavour, but it's slightly smooth, almost like it's caramelised. And of course, the more I'm drinking it, the more I'm feeling it going down. But I said, it's not stopping me. There was part of me thinking that there'd be a character in this beer that would just be way, way in your face. But it's wonderfully balanced. And it's still got that sort of like essence of subtlety to it. A little bit of lemon curd coming through. Tinned pineapple chunks. And the juice sort of like with a bit of ice cream because it's got a little bit of like, like a sweet creaminess to it. That's lovely. That's a really nice beer. It's not as in your face as I think I was building it up to be and I don't know whether I'm sort of like a little bit, oh, I wish it was mum about or like, oh, actually. Do you know what I mean? It's not as bold and as abrasive as you would expect an IPA of this sort of ABV to be. But it's still really nice. It's not blowing me away. And it's not my favourite track beer that I've had this year. But I tell you what, it's a damn good quadruple IPA. And a beer that I think I would... I'd really enjoy to try again. I'd like to see more breweries tempt this sort of style. So, of course, any recommendations that you know of, or even some really good triple IPAs that you've been enjoying, let me know in the comments. So, in terms of a rating, then, can't put it there, there's not enough space. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why I held my heart then, or the spot where my heart used to be. Um, in terms of a rating, uh, I'm going to give that one an 8.5 out of 10. Um, yeah, it's it's got a real sense of refinement to it, and it's just so beautifully brewed. Um, but there's still a tiny little bit of me thinking, I wish there was just like this one big like slap around the face, just had a bit of fun factor. But it's remarkably drinkable, so I think that's what's more important, really, isn't it? Than it being like a gimmicky beer. I'm glad it doesn't fall into the sort of like realm of absurdity. So yeah, eight and a half out of ten. Uh, go check out Track. Go check out Soma. Their links are going to be down below. Um, of course, if I can find the web shop for Soma, that'll be in the description. Um, I've reviewed quite a few Track beers. They've been one of my favourite breweries for the last couple of years, actually. Um, and it's still a damn, damn good beer. So uh, yeah, massive, massive thank you once again to Adam, aka Mose Beers. His link is down below as well for kindly gifting me this. And if you've tried this one, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below and I hope you'll join me next time for another beer review and I'm surprised that I've only gone up to 10 minutes with a review like this. Progress, progress people and go check out all the track reviews that I've done 
a real knockout of a brewery and I've not had many Soma beers and I need to rectify that. So any recommendations from those guys, hit me up in the comments. Anyway, cheers for watching folks and uh, I shall look forward to sharing a drink with you later when we go visit Flavor Town. I need to somehow incorporate that into reviews properly and make it a proper catchphrase. Anyway, see you guys later. Cheers.